Lymphedema is a chronic disease without a cure. Harantis Pharma hopes to change that with Lymphactin. Lymphactin is an innovative therapeutic being developed for the treatment of breast cancer-associated lymphedema. Surgical treatments of breast cancer often include removal of auxiliary lymph nodes to block the spreading of the cancer. Unfortunately, this also damages normal lymphatic drainage. This may cause lymphedema, resulting in swelling of the arm. To cure lymphedema, one would need to grow new lymphatic vessels, and that's exactly the idea with our lymphactin. The science behind lymphactin is based on more than two decades of academic research at the University of Helsinki in Finland. Academy professor Kari Alitilo, who is also a member of the National Academy of Sciences of the United States, is a leading scientist in the field of vascular endothelial growth factors. His research group was the first in the world to discover VEGFC, which is a growth factor that specifically promotes the formation of lymphatic vessels. The human body is not smart enough to produce enough VEGFC in areas where the lymphatic system has been damaged. That's why Professor Alitalo designed lymphactin, which is a so-called gene therapy vector. Lymphactin carries the human VEGFC gene, which makes the patient's own cells produce VEGFC locally where lymphactin is injected. This approach has worked well in disease models of lymphedema. Lymphactin has triggered the growth of new, functional lymphatic vessels without any side effects. Encouraged by the strong preclinical safety and efficacy data, we have now started the first clinical study in the world of lymphactin. This study is currently ongoing at three hospitals in Europe. In this study, lymphactin is combined with a surgical lymph node transfer. Lymphactin is injected in the lymph node transplants, and it aims to improve the results of the surgery by growing new lymphatic vessels that connect the transplant to the existing lymphatic vessels. If this works as well in human patients as it has worked in preclinical disease models, lymphactin could cure secondary lymphedema. Drug development is always very slow, as the safety of the patients is the number one priority. We hope to have top-line results of this first clinical trial by the end of 2017. If the results are as good as expected, we plan to start our next clinical study in 2018, including selected hospitals in the United States. Even with the positive results so far, it will take several years and many clinical studies until lymphactin could be approved by the FDA. Drug development is very slow and very expensive. University spin-off companies like Herantis are always looking for new investors and larger companies as partners to speed up their drug development. Together with LEARN, we are increasing lymphedema awareness. We welcome new investors and partners to join us in our mission to develop a cure for lymphedema.